hi everyone and welcome back to my channel how are you doing today hope you are doing great so in this video i am going to teach you how to cut a kimono jacket and a palazzo trousers so join in as we go welcome back and thank you for joining us so today guys i am going to start with the palazzo trouser and i'm cutting off the salvage end of the fabric so i can determine my waistline that is what i'm doing right now the material is folded into two places and this is just for the front piece of the palazzo trouser and i have another folds for the back piece of the palazzo but we are going to be cutting the front piece first and I just placed my tape on a straight line and I removed two inches from the actual uh, measurements. Why? Because it's going to have a band. So the band is two inches long. So I am marking my waistline. So the 10 inches is my hip line. The 10 inches line is my hip line. And I'm about to mark my crotch line. So I am going to be using 15 inches as my crotch line that's my crotch point and i'm going to mark it down so guys that is it that is the lines the points we'll be needing for this trouser your waistline your hip line and your crotch line so guys the next thing we're going to be doing is to be to remove I'm going to remove one inch on the waist, on one side of the waist line, that is the point. Then I'll put in my actual measurement, my waist line, um, waist circumference divided by four. I will mark it down. Then add 1.5 inches seam allowance. Then on my hip line, I removed half inch on the edge of the this thing, and then I added my hip divide by four plus one and half inch seam allowance. So on the crush line, I put my crush measurements. That is your round crush circumference divide by two not by four by two then you connect the lines so the lines i'm just connecting and I, the, the places i removed one inch and a half inch is just to give me the feminine shape that is it and i am going to connect the down line as i'm doing so and i think we are ready it's time to cut off the excesses and we are done with the front piece So after I'm done with the front piece, after cutting off the excesses, I placed my front piece on my back piece and I added 2 inches on the crotch line or the crotch point. So I am going to connect it to the line of the front piece like so. like this yeah and like this and i'll also try to connect the other lines making sure making sure that the lines are same as the front piece line so 
so on the center line of the back piece i am going to come up by half an inch and i will connect it down like so yeah i came up by by half an inch there as you can see i have drawn the line upwards and i will connect it i connect it back to the same line as the front piece so we're going to cut out everything i'm adding the half inch do you see it half an inch yes so guys i am done with the back piece and we are done with the trouser as well the trouser part so i am cutting off the excesses yeah it's 16 so that is 14 inches for the front and extra two inches for the back so guys we are done with the trousers so it's time to cut the jacket and cutting the jacket the first thing i'm going to do is to cut the neckline and i'm cutting for both the front and the back piece so the fr the front neck the front neckline depth is four inches and the back neckline depth is one inch so i started by cutting the neck depth and for the width is three and a half inches the width for both the front and the back so it's three and a half inches and i marked it down so i'm going to use my one inch and i'll connect to my four and uh, three and a half inches connect to my four inches neck depth that is for the front and connect also to the back inches neck depth and that is for the back so i am going to come down by two inches for my shoulder slope on the edge of the other end yeah so i am going to connect it to my neck width that is where my neck neck width stopped so next thing i'm going to do is to mark my hip point and you know as usual my hip point is 24 inches and on the hip point i am going to count four inches down that is where my curve line is going to start from so for the um sleeve i used 10 inches as my sleeve sleeve circumference divide by two then i came in by two inches and on the points that i just marked down i am going to divide my hip circumference into four places then mark it down plus four inches seam allowance yeah four inches i am going to mark it down to the end of the length that i used i used the whole 60 inches you know this kind of materials comes with 60 inches length so I use the whole 60 inches because it's a long jacket. So I'm going to connect everything together. So here I am going to connect it to my two inches other ones for my sleeve. Can you see that? That is my ego shape. And I'm cutting off everything. I'm using the pin because the material is very stretchy. So I am using the pin to hold 
the important places from coming out. So we are done with the this thing. Before we cut the neckline, we are going to remove the back piece because we've already cut off the one inch for the back piece. So we are going to cut off the front piece neck depth neckline. And we have cut off the front piece neckline. The next thing is to cut off the slit that is the op to open the front center front because it's a jacket so we are going to open the center front of the jacket so we are done opening the center front so it's time to sew so we are going to place it on the front piece facing the front a uh, back piece and the uh, back piece facing the front piece that is the right side of the back piece facing the right side of the front piece and I'm using my pin that's my office pin to hold the edges together because the material is very stretchy So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So on the shoulder I am going to join the two sides of the shoulders together like that and like that and I'll be right back then I'm joining the sleeve then the sides and I will be right back the sleeve and the sides the sleeve and the sides and I will be right back so that's the places I'm going to join so i am done joining it and this is how it looks like and the sleeve i used two inches to um hem the sleeve the two inches band i added band to the sleeve that is two inches sleeve and two inches band and i used half inch to seam it then one and a half inch is the remaining uh, so this is what I used on the band and as you can see I have, I'm done stitching the sides so the next thing I'm going to do is to cut the neckline of the front piece again that's the second time And I'm going to hold the front piece, the center front together, and place it like this on my table. Then I'm going to make sure they are well settled. Then come down by seven inches, remove the four inches that I have cut already then make it seven inches long longer so that is where my seven inches is so I'm going to mark it down and connect it in a V shape that is the V neckline So on the center line, I am going to remove one inch and I will mark it down. I 
I'm still going to add back the one inch because I'm going to put a band on them on the lines around the neck and on the lines of the center piece so it's time to cut off all the everything the excesses guys we are done so i'm going to use this bind to join the places these places i'm going to use it to hold it round and i'll be right back so guys i am done joining everything together and this is how what it looks like so i hemmed the down part and we are done with the jacket it's very simple to make so the next thing we're going to do is to sew the trouser the palazzo trouser so sewing the palazzo trouser the first thing we're going to do is to join the center back of the palazzo trouser and we're going to join the front as well the center front like this like this so we are done joining them and you, as you can see how my stitches run run on them so see it and this is how it looks like after joining them i'm going to use the front piece and i'll place it on the back piece that is the right side facing the right side and i'll join the um, crotch together I will use my pin to hold it then join them together I will run a stitch on them like this then join the both sides of the trouser yes i would just sew it round like that and the on the sides like that and i'll be right back so guys i am done joining everything together and this is what it looks like so this band is my waistband and i'm going to use this band around the waist for a neat and more beautiful work and i'm using a zipper on the side of the trouser so guys i am done and this is what it looks like at the end of the video is it not beautiful this is very beautiful right so guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like share and comment on my videos i will see you in my next video again Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your comments. To my returning subscribers, I love you all. Thank you and bye.